Our national debt. We all know it's very big, we've heard about it for a long time, but if we look at the numbers, $30 trillion in a country of about 300 million. Add five zeros, that is the amount that every man, woman, and child needs to pay to get the debt under control. I myself, that's a heck of a lot of money. That'd be hard for my wife and I to pull off. It is not so much that we have a problem in this country with taxation. We know the Democrats say, we need to tax more. If only we tax the rich, if only we tax the 1%. Well, I tell you, if we did that, we could fund the federal government for a short amount of time, we would drive them all out of business, and we would be back in the Stone Age, financially speaking. Our problem is not one of taxation. Our problem, as we all know as conservatives, is a problem with spending. The government has grown beyond any reasonable size. The government regulates every aspect of your life. They regulate the food industry, they regulate health care, they have a large military structure. We have these entitlement programs and we have all of these safety nets that only incentivize people to not go to work. We saw what happened with COVID-19 when we did provide 600 extra dollars a week for people to stay in unemployment. Would you want to go back to work if you're making more money not going into work? We, ladies and gentlemen, have a spending problem. And a large part of that is due to the fact that if you want to get reelected, you want to give people free stuff. We need to ensure that we have term limits for those representing us in DC. If we have term limits, the, then the current representation, future representation will be less concerned with getting reelected and more concerned with saving this nation for the sake of our children, our grandchildren, and being sure that this great experiment in freedom is not extinguished in the decades to come. Eli, thank you. One follow-up question for you specifically. Um, since there are no term limits in place right now, would you self-impose a term limit on yourself? I have signed the term limit pledge. I was very happy to do so. The term limit pledge includes two terms for Senate and three terms for U.S. Congress. As your future congressman, after three terms are up, whether it's the law or not, I am stepping down because that's what I believe in. As you've seen throughout this campaign trail, here at Clemmer for Congress, I stand by what I believe in. I do not cower away and wait until it's safe to do so after the dust is settled. I make a stand for what I believe in when it matters. So yes, three terms, and I'll move on to something else. Thank you, Will. Matt?